transformer is a device that is used to raise or lower down the potential difference of an alternating current. Okay, so that's transformer. Uh, it is electrical device uh, that you can use to increase or reduce the potential difference. Just potential difference. Uh, we, we do not use it to increase current or reduce current. Uh, we don't use that. Okay, we just use it to increase the potential difference or reduce the potential difference. Okay, increase the voltage or reduce the voltage uh, because the uh, potential difference is the same as voltage. So the functions of transformer is to increase or decrease the potential difference of an alternating current supply. Okay, that's the very first thing that you need to know about transformer. What is transformer and its function? So its function is to increase or reduce uh, potential difference of alternating currents. Uh, okay, uh, it, it can only change the potential difference of alternating current it cannot uh, change the potential difference of direct currents it only work for alternating currents uh, okay it does not work for uh, direct currents a transformer consists of three parts uh, the primary circuit the core and the secondary circuit okay let's have a look at it okay so uh this is the illustrations of a transformer okay so you can see that uh, there is an iron okay this is iron uh, iron block here and then at one side there is a wire okay wire another side there's some uh, wire as well okay uh, so so we have this uh, primary windings and we have a uh, secondary windings okay now primary winding is the input eh? okay always remember primary winding is the input input means that there is a it, it connect to the source of electricity eh? this is the input and the secondary winding is the output okay output so primary winding as the input and uh, secondary windings as the output eh? okay so in this uh, primary winding, we have primary currents and uh, pri primary voltage. So we have this thing here. We just put it aside first, okay? We may use it later. So let's see. So the primary circuit is the circuit that connected to the input energy source. Let me erase this. And the currents, potential difference, and coil in the primary circuit are called the primary currents, the pri primary potential difference, and the primary coil respectively okay and then so the primary current is denoted by the symbol ip yeah? and the primary potential difference is uh, vp the secondary circuit is the circuit that connected to the output of the transformer and a potential difference and coil in the secondary circuit are called the secondary current is secondary potential difference vs and uh, the secondary coil respectively okay the s uh, the sub s here stand for secondary uh, secondary i is current v is voltage uh, okay the p stand for primary i is current v is voltage so uh, vp is a uh, primary voltage uh, that is the primary circuit and the secondary circuit okay we has also the core uh, the core is the ferromagnetic metal so this core it must be ferromagnetic and if you still remember a ferromagnetic material is the materials can uh, can be attracted by magnet can be attracted by magnets huh? so you must use a ferromagnetic material because sometimes uh, they may ask they, they give you the few material they are then they ask you which one can be used as the core so you must choose the ferromagnetic materials. Eh? Give me some ferromagnetic material. Iron, okay, nickel, that's correct. And cobalt, yes, that's correct, okay. So you can use ions or uh, you can use uh, steel also. Eh? Okay, iron or steel, that is the alloys of iron, nickel or cobalt, okay. So this is the uh, ferromagnetic material eh, that you can use as the core. But usually we use iron. Eh? We do not use nickel and cobalt because this two is uh, very expensive. Okay, and it's also not very good. Eh? It's not very good ferromagnetic material. So therefore we use iron. So the core is the ferromagnetic metal worn by the primary and secondary coil. The functions of the core is to transfer the 
changing magnetic flux uh, okay so you can see there's an arrow right okay this arrow uh, shows that uh, the core is used to transfer the magnetic flux from the primary coil to the secondary coil i'll show you later okay you don't need to worry about this first i'll show you later how the uh, transformer work there's the three parts of a transformer primary circuit secondary circuit and the core the symbol eh? the figure shows the symbol of a transformer okay so you can see that there's a coil here and there's a coil here and then there's a two lines eh? there's two lines in the middle and uh, the, the two lines in the middle so the two lines between the coil denotes the core so we have a primary coil uh, the core and the secondary coil so this is the symbol of transformer so sometimes in the exam they may just give you symbol eh? then when you see this then you should know that this is transformer Okay, transformer and it's used to uh, increase or reduce voltage eh? so uh, this is summary okay so we have a uh, primary windings eh? primary coil secondary coil uh, this is a primary circuit uh, the current eh? the current connected to the primary circuit is called the primary current is denoted by the symbol IP I is current P is pri uh, primary and then the voltage across the primary coil is called the primary voltage. V is voltage, eh? P is primary. So this is symbol, okay? And then we have NP, eh? NP. NP is the number of windings. N, eh? N, this N is the number of windings. Eh? Number of windings. So number of windings of the primary coil and then we have a number of windings of the secondary coil. Okay, now all these uh, should be S, uh, not P. Uh. Okay, this should be S. It should be S, but not P. Uh. So this is IS, uh, this should be NS, and this is VS. Uh. So this is the summaries of the structures of the transformer. Primary coil, secondary coil, primary currents, primary voltage, prime number of uh, windings of primary coil okay secondary current secondary voltage and number of windings of the secondary coil